Boom. Hey. I'm going to review it. People say, when are you going to review that lens? It's like, well, as soon as I can get my hands on it. <laughs> so, Fujifilm, 18mm, f1.4. But before I review this lens and what it is, I got to tell you, I went to the Evil Empire, which is Costco. And I know I shouldn't have bought it, but I bought a bag of these. Yeah? Mini almond cakes. They're really, really soft. I mean, they're like super soft. Kind of like a sponge cake. And Oh, my God. Whoa. Man. Make your tongue beat your brains out. They don't actually have that much sugar in them. I don't eat candy at all. And I know if this is like borderline candy or something. I mean... Maybe, maybe a, one or two good things do come out of France. One or two, maybe. <laughs> That's really good. Here we got the lens. Been testing the hell out of it. Posted some pictures up on Facebook. I can make intelligent, empirical, demonstrable statements about this lens. Don't you love iPad? Don't you just love it? There we go. There we go. I only have a few lines here anyway. I only use this iPad for, you know, like, uh, points uh, to mention. Uh, let's first talk about the really, really horrible thing. And by the way, I, I haven't reviewed the lens. I'm just talking about the price here a second. I said in my book, and I meant it, easily the worst lens, e yeah, easily the worst lens that uh, Fujifilm uh, made, and it was one of their earliest, oldest lenses was the original 18 millimeter. It was not an f1.4. That lens was atrociously bad. I mean, it's a doorstop. It's useless. Now this lens, before I get to reviewing it, let's just talk about the price tag, whether it's good or bad. At a thousand dollars. No. Fujifilm, I mean, I know it'll go on sale like in a half a year or something for, you know, maybe 699 or something like that. I mean, a thousand dollars? No. No, 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 no. This lens is... No, it's, it's not a thousand dollar lens. You know, I love you to death, Fujifilm. This lens is not a thousand dollars. So let's get to the fascinating stuff about this lens. Of course, it's a 27 millimeter equivalent. Moderate image fidelity. It's, uh, as I recall, yeah, 15 elements with nine rounded aperture blades. It does have nice, fast uh, autofocus. You have the same uh, cheap uh, non-composite lens heads, which Fujifilm should have fixed that by now. They should start using nylon or glass-filled uh, plastic or polymer like Canon and, Ni and uh, Nikon does, which makes the lens heads uh, very durable. Fujifilm still not doing that. They, however, did redesign the lens cap, thanks to me. I mean, they actually admitted that. I know a guy that works for IEEE in Tokyo, Japan. That was a bunch of people at Fujifilm. This lens is absolutely off the hook incredible. It's absolutely unbelievable. You know, it's, it scared me. It's so good. The bokeh is incredible. It's so sharp. How close can you get with this lens? You might as well, you might have to scratch the front element. You can get so close. You can get incredibly, incredibly close in 18 mm 1.4. Um, the price is absolutely disgusting. This lens should not be $1,000. Um, is it as good as the 16 mm 1.4, which is probably my, well, is it? I mean, it still is a 16 mm 1.4, my favorite uh, wide-angle Fujifilm lens. Actually, my favorite lens in general. My favorite, by far, is the 80 mm macro Fujifilm lens because it's the best macro lens that exists on Earth, period. Uh, so this lens is the, the cousin or the brother or the sister to the 16 mm 1.4. It absolutely is. It's not as big, especially on the on the uh, the front element, in the front of the lens, but yeah, a thousand dollars, yeah. But I mean, if we could just ignore the price and just say you you know you got a lot of money and prices into consideration, this lens is absolutely incredible. Would I actually get this if you were an owner of the 16 millimeter 1.4? If you have a ton of money and money's not a consideration, then yes. If you do have the 16 millimeter 1.4, getting this lens. The answer would be no. If you haven't had the 16 mm 1.4, I would still get the 16 mm 1.4 because it could be had cheaper than this lens on many fronts, especially used. I mean, this lens is just out. You're not really going to find any used copies. 
of the 18 millimeter, 18 millimeter uh, f1.4. Autofocus is fast. It's decidedly faster, much faster than the 16 millimeter 1.4. Um, for obvious reasons, it's a different autofocus motor Mac, but uh, how fast it, well, it is faster than 23 mm 1.4. It's certainly way faster than 35 1.4. Trying to, to draw an equivalent, uh, it's definitely faster than the 56 mm 1.2. I don't know what lens you're familiar with on speed. Say the 50 mm f2 or the uh, 16 mm 2.8. Um, fast, not for action, it's obviously for uh, architecture, landscape. Uh, city, street, some other things. Low distortion, incredibly sharp, renders beautifully. The book is amazing. Absolutely fascinating and wonderful. This is a dual purpose lens. It's got pseudo macro, like I said, where you can get so damn close with this lens, which is one of the, this makes a single lens uh, like two lenses. There are not a whole lot of great lenses that are like that, but this is one of those lenses. So should you buy this lens if you have the 16mm 1.4? The answer is no. It's just too close. The 16 is still incredible. This lens, if we ignore the price by itself, is absolutely incredible. It absolutely shocked the hell out of me. I've been complaining about the 18mm, the original iteration from Fujifilm, for quite a long time. That lens is horrible. It's abysmal. It's, you know, is it absolutely horrific and useless? The answer is no. But in the spectrum of compared to what? which is really my motto. The end of the lens is horrible. This lens is incredible, but it should not be a thousand dollars. It just should not be. So there we have it, the 18mm 1.4. An incredible lens that I found shocking. It is a 10 out of 10 on the scale of what it is as far as what it is. As far as the checkout when you go to buy it at a thousand bucks, no. I mean, maybe you should wait a year for it to go on sale for $6.99 or $7.59 or something like that. Who knows what they're going to price it out on sale. That always takes a while on a new lens. should not be priced that damn high. Fujifilm should have uh, brought this lens out at... Uh, actually, it should have come out at $7.99. Really, it should have come out at $7.99 max. $8.50? Okay. $1,000? bucks. No. But if you have a lot of money, then yes, I recommend this lens. I recommend this lens, period, but not at that price point. So that's atrocious. So it's top, top Fujifilm lens. It's easily top five of their best uh, X mount lenses. Uh, where do I place this lens in the rank? Uh, it's easily number three. Um, my favorite of all times, 80 millimeter macro, then the 1614 then it's easily this lens, the 18 millimeter 1.4. But I mean, there's too close of an overlap there if you have the 16 1.4, like I said. So there it is. I'm not endorsed by anybody. I say it like it is. I've got all the Fujifilm Max Mount lenses, so I can say what it actually is, and that is. It's incredible. It's just too darn high. Fujifilm made a stinking mistake at pricing that it's $1,000. I think the people there that have a brain, of which there are many, know this fact. It's too high. Fujifilm should not have made this a thousand dollar lens, just flat out bar none, so. And that's keeping a review short, sweet, and simple. Yeah. Peace out, Girl Scout. Wait for it. Fujifilm. <whistles> lens is too damn high. <laughs> it's too high. Too high. Yep.